Aloha and welcome to Hawaii. It's time for abs and obliques. So please go ahead, start your tracker, grab some water. You'll need a mat and a kettlebell if you have one. We're going to begin on our side with a side laying elbow to knee crunch. So you can come right down, all the way down. You can rest your head on your arm. And with our opposite arm, we're gonna come up and touch our elbow to our knee. Each time we crunch, please squeeze your obliques right here. We have 60 seconds on the clock and begin all the way up and down. Again, squeezing through your obliques, squeeze. You can put your hand there and feel those muscles working, squeeze. Good. If you like to have some music on in the background, go ahead and put some music on. Good, squeeze. The girls and I went to the beach today. Very nice. The waves weren't too crazy, which is nice as well. <laughs> All the way up, squeeze. We have about 15 seconds. As many reps as you can get. And good job. All right, staying on this side. Now we're gonna come up, lift both feet up off the mat like this. And we're just gonna lift and lower your top leg. All the while keeping your bottom leg up as well. Good, and we have 60 seconds. So again, this exercise we're wanting to feel here in your abs and obliques. Again, as many reps as we can get in 60 seconds. It's almost sunset time here in Hawaii. 30 seconds to go. Keep going. Are you feeling it in your abs? I am. Keep going. Almost there. 10 seconds. Keeping that bottom leg up as well. And good job. All right, now we're going to do both legs. So this is a V up. So staying in this position, same side, we're gonna lift both legs. And if you want, you can touch your toes. Bring it up and touch. You won't really need shoes for this workout, by the way, if you didn't notice. <laughs> this is mostly abs and abdominals and obliques. Good. Squeeze those abs. We have about 30 seconds. Good. Staying on your side. Reach up and touch your toes. Almost there. All right, good job. We're gonna flip it over onto your other side and we're going into a side plank. So the ab and obliques that we just worked are now on the bottom and you're gonna feel them even more as we come up into a side plank. So making sure that your hips and bum are up off the floor. Lift them up a little bit higher. You're gonna feel that um, that oblique area, you're gonna feel it engage a little bit as you lift those hips up. Good, keep it up. Breathe. Stay up, stay up. We have about 20 seconds. Keep holding. Did you watch the Grammys? I saw the Grammys were on tonight. We'll watch them tomorrow night because we're about five, six hours behind. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, so we're gonna come all the way down and we're gonna repeat those exercises we did on your other side. So bringing your knee up and 
touching your elbow, squeezing in the middle. Begin and squeeze. job. Inhale and exhale. And you have about 20 seconds and then we're going to be going into that on the beach leg lift where we lift both legs. job. All right, here we go. Both feet, both legs up off the floor. We're going to lift and lower top leg only. Good. Do you like working abs and obliques? I love working abs. I always have. I love that feel the next day when your abs are so sore and you laugh or you sneeze and you're like, oh. <laughs> Good, keep that bottom leg up as well. Put your fingers on your obliques. You can feel those muscles working. With about 15 seconds. Speaking of sneezing. Excuse me. All right, good job. Now we're going to use both legs. We're going to lift both legs up into that V up and try and touch your toes. Ready? 60 seconds on the clock and go. Good. Squeeze your oblique, squeeze your abs. You're on your side. Lift those legs up and touch, reach. Good. You hear all the birds? Good. Keep going as many V ups as you can get. We have about 20 seconds to go. Breathe. And good job. Please flip it over to the other side and we are going into a side plank. So making sure your elbows directly underneath your shoulder. Coming up to those feet, you're going to stack those feet. Good, lift your hips and begin. Hear the chimes. We were saying in our workout the other day how you can hear chickens and chimes when we work out. <sighs> Good work, keep those hips up. Hips up, 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 up. I felt a sprinkle, don't rain on me. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Good work. All right, please come on to your back. We're going into leg raises or jackknife. If you want to hold a dumbbell, you can hold it and do the jackknife or hands under your lower back. And we're going to lift and lower your legs like this. Good. We have 60 seconds. So as many leg raise or jackknife as you can complete. And you're trying not to let your back come up off the mat. You want to press your mat, your back down into the floor, into the mat. We have about 15 seconds. Breathe. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Next, we have tuck in. Again, hands underneath your lower back. We're taking those legs out and in. Squeeze your abs out and in. Squeeze. Feeling that burn in your abs. Squeeze. Again, we have about 15 seconds. And then we're going into a basic or a weighted crunch. So you can choose. And good job. All right, basic or weighted crunch. If you wanna hold a dumbbell, you can place it up here. You can hold it here and you're crunching or support your neck, hands behind, plant hands. I like to clasp my hands like that underneath my head or neck. And then try to keep your chin up to the sky and you're squeezing your abs. Good, so lifting your shoulders up a little bit higher. Up, up, and inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Again, we're trying to get as many reps as we can get in 60 seconds. Please. You can do this workout pretty much anywhere because it requires so little equipment and so it's good to do while you're traveling, while you're watching television. All right, good. Next we have mountain climbers, so flip it over. Hands and toes and we're going to jog your knees in and out. Sunset later on tonight. Do you remember where you were in the world when you saw your very most beautiful sunset? The one that I remember the most was on the island of Oahu, and we went for a hike as a family out to the point, Kana Point, and we saw a seal, and it was just so beautiful, so many colors in the sky. All right, good job. Please come back onto your back. We're doing a cross crunch. So we're gonna take your left elbow to your right knee and keep it here, crunch for 60 seconds. Squeeze. Hear those chimes. So staying on this side, left elbow, right knee, crunch, squeeze, squeeze. Mind to muscle. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna switch from your right elbow and left knee. Good job. All right, please switch. Here we go. Left knee, right elbow. Bring it up and touch. Touch. So many pretty sounds. In about 10 seconds, we're going into flutter kick. Keep going. 
So here we're going to place your hands underneath your lower back, extend your legs straight out, and we're going to flutter those ankles, flutter your feet, just a little movement, flutter, flutter, flutter. Breathe and keep going. Try to press your back into the mat. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're almost there. Stay strong. Focus on those nice, strong abs. 10 seconds. And good. Give me some scissors. Take those legs all the way up. Scissor, scissor. If you need to, place your hands under your lower back. Should be burning. Keep going. I do a similar workout to this every single morning. I start our coffee pot and then while it's brewing, I go and I have a, a mat always laid out so that it reminds me Go do your abs, and when you're done, you can have your coffee. 10 seconds, and we're going to come up to standing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, please come on up. Grab a drink if you need, and we are going into a kettlebell swing pass. So if you have a kettlebell, usually to pass it, you want it to be about 20 pounds or less. If you don't have a kettlebell lighter than that um, or 20 pounds, you can do a regular kettlebell swing where you're not passing it, you're just swinging it. But I'm gonna show you the pass for you to try. All right, so it looks like this. We're gonna bring it up and down, up and down. Good. 60 seconds on the clock. So there's some chickens. So kettlebell swing is a swing. You're swinging it between your legs and just about up to shoulder height. I see three chickens. They pretty much hang out here all day. We throw out some food for them like bread, crackers, corn, veggies. Keep going. Great job. Now, while we're here standing suitcases on each side, ready? So spread your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Take it, oh goodness, don't fall over. Take it down and up. Working our obliques. Down and up. Down, good work. Give me 10 more on this side, and then we're gonna switch, please. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Awesome, please switch that kettlebell over to your other hand, keeping your feet nice and wide. Bending all the way down to the side and up. Down and up. Chickens. They're just wild chickens. There's a lot of wild chickens here in Hawaii and cats. Good, so we have five more on this side. Five. 
four, three, two, one more. All right, excellent. Please set this down. So you've just completed one full round of our abs and oblique workout. So please go back to the top and repeat one or two more times and then make sure to stretch. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Mahalo.